student. Good evening, I'm Mackenzie Henderson. And I'm Dylan Austin. Tonight, the Quincy Human Rights Commission met at Quincy University to discuss the ongoing investigation into the incident at the Barn nightclub early Sunday morning. That's where 19-year-old QU student Jasper Evans claims the owner of the nightclub attacked her. WGEM's Frank Healy was at tonight's meeting. He joins us in studio with more. Frank? Well, Dylan and McKenzie, as you can see behind me here, hundreds of QU students, community members, and activists, along with Quincy Police and the Human Rights Commission, were at the university's arena to discuss what happens now as QPD continues to investigate what happened at that nightclub the night of that it happened, while the state's attorney's office waits for more information to consider charges. Tonight, all these people listened to what numerous members of the QU and Quincy community had to say at the Human Rights Commission meeting about what Jasper Evans said happened to her early Sunday. One of those people, QU student Cheyenne Cunningham, says as Evans is a fellow student athlete and one of his residents, this incident hits close to home. It happened to happen to somebody that I was so connected to by this community menace. It really, really provoked me to, to really step up and take action or whatever that looked like. Cunningham said he wants to see an arrest made and the business to shut down as opposed to being swept under the rug or skating pot past. Members of the commission say they were glad to see so many people passionate about the issue and encouraged people to continue to engage, but also be patient as they work from the side of the city to take steps to address the matter and other complaints about the barn. But I can promise that those steps are being taken and we are going through um, and checking every box to make sure we're, you know, completing what we need to for individuals who have filed the complaints as well as you know, to serve the citizens of Quincy. Quincy resident Zakia Brent also spoke tonight. She said she wanted to show that the community supports Evans as well. The thing that things I'm happy to see next is just a continuance of that this won't stop. The support and the love that was here today does not end. That people continue to show that they do care and that this doesn't just die down. I also hope to see justice for Jazz in any type of way possible. Meanwhile, members of the Quincy Human Rights Commission say they'll be presenting a letter to Quincy City Council this coming Monday. In the studio, Frank Healy, WGEM News.